hello guys uh, just a quick video because most of you on spreadsheet especially computer practice n5 n6 including n4 cfs n5 and n6 you miss out or you you make mistakes on excel because you don't format your cells you don't format your cells depending on what answer should be there so i'm going to do a quick uh, a, a video on formatting your cells when you format your cells for example look at what they're looking for duration of stay i'm going to use this spreadsheet that i used before to demonstrate formatting of cells duration of stay in days days should be in terms of like five days 10 days 11 days so we're looking for a number in here duration of stay in weeks we are looking for also a number so it means this area here you should format it to what general number so the answer must be number so if i do equal sign departure minus arrival and i press enter it gives me a 30 because i formatted the cells so if you see here, I, uh, it, it gives me a wrong uh, answer because I didn't reference. I'm going to quickly reference the D like I did in a previous video by putting what? Dollar sign at the beginning and dollar sign at the end. Now, if I do the fill down again, the answer will be correct. So remember referencing. Same here. This one, duration of stay in weeks is easy because it's days divided by seven. So it's going to just be call sign days divided by seven. Then the answer is also a number. Now it's a long, you see it's called uh, decimals. Always remove the decimals when you deal with days and uh, uh, days, weeks, or time. Remove the decimals. Don't have like long numbers. And then you do the fill down, complete. And then in terms of money, in here we're looking for money. So we're looking for what? Currency, we're looking for R. So the answer here must be money. So it's going to be called sign. Uh, this amount 550 multiply multiply by days it's going to be give us 16,000 do not put the R sign yourself uh, you have to highlight and then select the currency do not put the R sign yourself Excel can, Excel cannot calculate that now you have seen how to format to days and also how to format to money so you also need to know how to format to to time if we're going to put time here, you must look at that at the at here on the screen bottom uh, bottom right here. See the format of my clock there. I use the format that I see there on here. Or what you can do, you can also uh, you can also click on your where you're gonna put time. Let me use this one. Highlight, right click, go to cell formatting go to time and then you must always put it under united states because united states is your the computer formula that's used on the question papers select that short version not the one with the pm and seconds and seconds the short version then you click okay it's going to format it to time same as that one you format it duration of the in hours now the answer here cannot be time cannot be clock it must be total number of hours, like a 10 hours, 11 hours. If I do this, as if I do on here, if I put equal sign departure minus arrival time, it's going to give me like 9 o'clock. We, we are not looking for 9 o'clock. We're looking for 9 hours. So what you should do, you highlight this area, and then you're going to change the format to general numbers. And then... Uh, you, you see it's now giving me like commas commas and then you get frustrated you go to your formula double click on your formula at the beginning of the d and at the end of the formula multiply by what you're gonna multiply everything by 24 then it gives you a nine that's how you calculate lock your formula is gonna be in bracket the time Oh, the person left and the, the time the person uh, the time the person left or departed the minus the time the person arrived both in bracket multiply by 24 so if you if I double click there you can see you, you will be able to see the formula there the formula is in bracket the time you departed the time you arrived multiply in everything to convert it to total hours you multiply by 24 so 
remember to format your cells and then uh, this column here this column here must be under what i said it must be formatted to general because you're looking for a whole number not like clock it must not be a clock the answer must be a number like 10 hours 11 hours it's just the same as when you're doing time sheet or a clock uh, a clock card that's the same principle that must apply formatting you can format yourself for anything you can see under cell formatting if i click on any cell here and i right click i go to cell formatting you got all this currency accounting days time percentage fraction same thing when you're looking for a percentage you're going to uh, 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 format the cell to be what right click and then put format and then go to percentages so the answer that is in there is a percentage so for example if i put in here equal sign uh, four divide by 30 and i press enter it's gonna give me 14 percent because already formatted you don't need to even multiply by 100 percent by 100 because i already told these cells so that the answer that comes here must be a percentage sign so please format your cells by right clicking and deciding okay this column is looking for number this column is looking for date this column is looking for currency looking for money and this column is looking for text like yeah text so you format your cells according to what is what you, uh, what must be in that cell